Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-3125. Item Number SCP-3125 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-3125 is kept inside Cognito Hazard Containment Unit 3125 on the first floor of Site 41. This containment unit is a 10 meters by 15 meters by 3 meters two boil room clad in layers of lead, soundproofing and telepathic shielding. Access is through an airlock system at one end of the containment unit. This airlock is programmed to allow only one person to enter the containment unit at a time and to remain locked until this person exits before allowing another person to enter. Under no circumstances may any coherent information be allowed to leave the containment unit. This includes written and electronic notes, photographs, audio and video recordings, sound electromagnetic and particle-based signals, and psi emanations. During the exit cycle, a purge system rigged to the airlock flushes the occupant's memory by flooding the airlock with amnestic gas for three minutes. A senior antimimetics division staff member must visit SCP-3125 every six weeks, 42 days. End of file. The case file at this point requests a passcode. Upon supplying it with five fives, the following case file is revealed. Item number SCP-3125. Object class Keter. Special Containment Procedures SCP-3125 is subject to inverted containment protocols and is present everywhere in reality except for those places which have been specifically purged of its influence. The interior of Cognito Hazard Containment Unit 3125 on Site 41, where this document resides, is the only location in the world known to have been successfully purged in this way. This containment unit is a 10 meters by 15 meters by 3 meters cuboidal room clad in layers of lead, soundproofing material and telepathic shielding. Access is through an airlock system at one end of the containment unit. This airlock is programmed to allow only one person to enter the containment unit at a time and to remain locked until this person exits before allowing another person to enter. Under no circumstances may any coherent information be allowed to leave the containment unit. This includes written and electronic notes, photographs, audio and video recordings, sound electromagnetic and particle-based signals, and psi emanations. A purge system rigged to the airlock flushes the occupant's memory by flooding the airlock with amnestic gas for three minutes during the exit cycle. An alternate SCP entry must be maintained in the main foundation database, giving only the technical specifications of the containment unit, provisions for senior antimimetics division staff to visit the unit's interior on a regular basis, and no description. Description SCP-3125 is an extremely large, C-fold eight-dimensional fractal topology, attachment 13. Highly aggressive anomalous metastasized mean complex originating externally to our reality and now partially intersecting it. SCP-3125 is adapted for survival in an idiotic ecology considerably more violent and hostile than our own. Here, our own refers to human head space, the set of all ideas which humans have or are biologically capable of having because humans have no natural exposure to ideas as aggressive as SCP-3125, human minds have no protective evolutionary adaptations against it. Individuals possessed of SCP-3125 become incapable of entertaining weaker, conventional ideas, and become instead wholly bodily subordinate to the purpose of serving and disseminating the core concepts of SCP-3125. In addition, although undergoing no outwardly visible physical alteration, they cease to be externally recognizable as human. SCP-3125 is not yet entirely present in our reality. Upon its arrival, 
A highly interconnected nature of human knowledge exchange systems means that it will take no longer than 12 hours, possibly as few as 4 hours, to encompass, dominate, and replace all human thought. At this point, humanity as an abstract concept, along with all attendant abstracts such as civilization, culture, society, community, and family will have ceased to exist. The foundation terms such an eventuality in MK class end of world scenario. The foundation possesses numerous proven techniques for arresting the spread of such aggressive idea complexes, but these are all rendered unworkable in practice by SCP-3125's autonomic defensive response slash boundary layer. Fully assembling a mental picture of SCP-3125 and perceiving its true shape causes SCP-3125 in turn to be able to perceive the observer. It then attacks the observer, killing them. The mechanism of the attack is unclear, but appears to be at least partially physical. Mental bystanders, individuals whose thoughts and ideas resemble those of the observer, are also attacked. This invariably includes the observer's entire extended research group, and often their close family, parents, and offspring. The attack has the net effect of erasing all knowledge both of SCP-3125 and its attack from the world. This informational numbing effect performs a similar function to the anesthetic saliva of a mosquito's bite, enabling SCP-3125 to evade detection prior to its full incarnation. Foundation staff discovering SCP-3125 may be able to escape its attack via prompt use of amnestic medication to erase their knowledge of it. In either case, the net result is that the interior of a suitably shielded containment unit is the only location where it is safe to observe, record or even acknowledge the existence of SCP-3125. Outside of such a containment unit, a true written description of SCP-3125 would constitute a lethal cognito hazard. SCP-3125 could be effectively neutralized using a machine proposed by the late Dr. Bartholomew Hughes called an irreality amplifier, C-Schematics, Attachment 129. However, as well as requiring tremendous material resources, this machine could not be constructed without its builders understanding why it was being built which would require an understanding of SCP-3125, which would prove fatal to the project. No means of neutralizing SCP-3125 using only the resources in this room is known. History Due to the described defense mechanism, SCP-3125's observation history is almost entirely missing. In particular, it is unclear exactly how this containment unit came to be built and how these containment procedures were established. Much data has been accrued in this containment unit over the course of successive visits by Foundation researchers. This data was brought from the outside in the hope of being useful and left here in accordance with containment procedures. In addition to this database entry, the reader will find multiple electronic copies of the Foundation database academic data sets of all kinds and extensive public news archives. As is to be expected, much of this data is not germane to the topic of containing SCP-3125. Nevertheless, correlation and analysis by successive visitors has allowed the following facts to emerge. Although SCP-3125 is not yet fully present in our reality, its indirect effects slash foreshocks, for example, SCP- SCP-8, SCP-8, and SCP-8 are easily discovered by any well-equipped memetics research project. Memetics research is, today, a much diminished science from when it was at its peak. In mid-2008 there existed more than 400 institutions pursuing research likely to uncover SCP-3125, including government agencies, military branches, private corporations, independent laboratories, university research projects and notable amateur groups. Many of these were GOIs or internal divisions within GOIs. None of these groups still exist, except for the Foundation's Antimimetics Division. Almost nobody in the world is consciously aware of this decline, and explanations for the disappearance of these groups have not been forthcoming. 
Simple deduction gives that all of these groups eventually discovered SCP-3125 and were consumed by it, and that this is, in fact, the inevitable fate of all competent memetics research. The anti-memetics division's persistence is attributed to its specialist training and its ready access to reliable amnestic medication. Despite this, the division, too, has shrunk considerably in recent years, from a reported staff of well over 4,000 people in 2012 to, as of September 2015, 125. This figure is on track to reach zero before the end of 2015. Over the same period, the division's physical worldwide presence has similarly shrunk, from a network of sites and smaller outposts on every continent to this single site, Site 41. In particular, the division's headquarters at Site 167 are now missing from the division's collective memory and presumed neutralized by SCP-3125's concealment response. Addendum Further analysis of the available data, specifically, architectural diagrams of Site-41, Attachment 38, indicates the existence of a second containment unit on Site-41 conforming to the same basic design philosophy as this one. This second unit, SO41-B30-000, was built 210 meters below ground level. It features identical broad-spectrum informational cladding, but has more than 1,000 times the volume of Cognitohazard Containment Unit 3125, along with an amnestic airlock large enough to ingest a 20-foot equivalent unit shipping container. Information relating to the date of construction and purpose of SO41-B30-000 is absent from Foundation records and is presumed to have been deliberately erased. The unit itself is hermetically sealed and has been for an indeterminate period of time. Regardless of SO41-B30-000's intended purpose, it, like any such containment unit, is capable of acting as a shelter from SCP-3125. Addendum 2 And the rest, hopefully, is blindingly obvious. SO41-B30-000 was originally constructed to house a long-term project to construct QZ Reality Amplifier. While that's been going on, the rest of us have been fighting an unconscious war in order to buy time. We have been losing, but losing as slowly as humanly possible. The time we have bought is now up. It's an extremely bad sign that nobody inside SO41-B30-000 has broken the seal yet but there is no ground left for us to seed, and there are no more bodies to throw into SCP-3125's mod to slow it down. Is here, ready or not? I'm going to go to SO41-B30-000 and use the machine. I think I can get the information out through the airlock. I think I can get to the vault alive. This was the plan. It's become garbled in the retelling because of variables, but I know that this was my plan, because I know myself. What else could it have been? Standard procedure is that I have to tell you what to do next if this doesn't work. That's the asynchronous research covenant. But I don't have a good picture of who you can even be, reading this and alive. In your scenario there is no machine, Hughes is missing, I'm dead, the site is ruined, and how do you even get in here? Can you be foundation? Are you conscious? Is there a single word of this which you comprehend? You live in a world based with SCP-3125. That's the lost condition. I can't help someone who doesn't exist. Marion Wheeler, Chief of Antimimetics. November 30th, 2015. Addendum 3. I found your body. And finding your body was a powerfully disorienting sensation for me, I don't mind admitting. I used to know a Marion. During the brief period in which I knew her, she wasn't one to admit defeat as easily as you. Still, that was a long time ago. Far be it from me to tell you your business, but I fear you missed a trick. From the evidence I can see, this was never the only anti-memetics division site. There were others. I imagine they're now all effectively invisible to, most, passers-by, of course, just like this one but I presume that they, just like this one, still physically exist. Your plan, I think, was in place for longer than you know. 
and since you weren't at liberty to retain its details, you put it into action more than once. There is another vault fitting the description, truck-sized amnestic airlock and all. S167-001-6100 163. Site 167, is a non-entity, of course, which is most likely why you missed it. It's likely ruined, and it's quite definitely a long goddamned way from here on foot. But still. I think it's better than half a chance. I could die on this boon novel too, naturally, as the world has become something of a horror show of late. In any case, I trust that anybody following in my footsteps and reading these additional words will have the presence of mind to pursue the same basic strategy. Still existing despite everything. Adam Wheeler, Interloper May 4, 2017 End of file Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.